Hello friends, data science today has two very important parts. The, the, the first part being the uh, mod is this the data exploration is the understanding and building the model the, the experimentation phase where you where you uh, train your model and and and, and train it well enough uh, see through all all the different challenges of building a near perfect model which is capable enough to predict your uh, scenario well enough but the second piece which ironically is is missed out is the software engineering part or the operationalization of these models uh, because your model is insignificant until is it's it's uh, scalable until it's able to cater to the users and predict the right thing at the right time within 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 the right uh, you know uh, frequency or within the right turnaround time there is no point having a fraud detection tool at the uh, at the at the point of sale if it is not able to 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 predict that within the time uh, of the sale happening or, or if you predict something which is for, for uh, you take a long enough time to predict that so the operationalization or the software engineering piece of after model uh, and putting into production is really important and last couple of days I had been working on one of the data science problems uh, and after that I tried to operationalize that with Microsoft's Azure machine learning model management and that's where this idea struck to me to build a series of a, 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 a video or a playlist uh, where and I can talk through the, the various steps or the various various catches which I had to go through because as it may seem like the documentation on Microsoft's uh, site for the operationalization is not 100% correct so there are there, there are a couple of or, or maybe your understanding is not good enough so so basically these 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 videos will help you get it just right uh, because the example which Microsoft usually uh, takes for for is is, is the iris and then it, it uh, they have there are there are certain catches which are not mentioned there and uh, which you would need when once you start to operationalize the model so so to start with uh, I take a very important problem I would say a, a, a sample problem and let's solve it with a, a deep neural net using Keras and, and TensorFlow um, so part one of this video will be a, sh a short one just trying to understand the data and then building a model and then we'll stop there that will be the part a of your understanding that's the data science problem uh, and then this model management workflow will, will kick in so uh, save yourself for that and, and let's jump on with the part one of the problem uh, okay so let's just try to get you with the data let's get on with the data so what I have here is here is a sample problem which uh, uh, is of predicting the product purchase what do I mean by that so I have some data here it's it's a hypothetical fict fictitious data so don't be serious about it but I have essentially two attributes uh, the time spent on uh, so we are talking about uh, uh, an online say selling a, a platform or, or e-commerce platform where where we have let's say three products product a B and C and then for these products uh, we have the time spent on web uh, times let's let's open this one in the Excel if I may I think so we we have two attributes uh, the uh, time spent on the web overall or on that particular e-commerce site the second one being the time spent on the products page and and the third one uh, the product being purchased so essentially uh, the the time difference between the time spent on web and the time spent uh, on the product page the difference between these two is is the time a user spends on the on on watching the other products so i have an example of of three uh, products here uh, and and a b and c and and all of these we uh, will try to yeah so th that that's that's it and, and all of these we'll try to to build a model to be able to predict if i have the time spent on web and the time spent on a particular page with these two inputs we'll try to predict what product was purchased so yeah I understand this is a very a very simple uh, data that we are trying to work with but yeah the idea is more to look at the operationalization rather than rather than the the other piece of of, of the work uh, that is in building on the model I assume that you are good enough and, and you're well versed with with uh, building these models uh, but the important part which uh, I will highlight is, also, uh, is on the operationalization part and is with the d deep neural net uh, 
So let's say this is the uh, IPython notebook which I have built to, to solve the problem first, uh, you know, before using any of the, the uh, Azure model management. So we will we'll just solve the problem here. So uh, we are importing this uh, with, with the package uh, and then we have the data so so we have these two these two at attributes we convert them into into float and then we have the columns product purchased which we will uh, mm, you know uh, make dummies of so we'll have uh, product a b and c one hot encoded and then we use keras so here that's where the, the actual dnn kicks in and we are using keras on top of a tensor flow uh, to build a model uh, and, and then we have the sequential model so basically if you look at it right now we have we'll have two inputs that's the time spent on web uh, and the time spent for the product page so uh, those are the two inputs and then we have a 16 uh, neuron layer which is a, a relu with a relu activation function and then the second layer is of eight and then we try to predict which product was purchased with the softmax uh, final layer which is uh, a b and c and then we um, use the RMS prop optimizer categorical uh, loss cross entropy and then we build, build the model so bas basically if you see I've just run it over a thousand epochs for batch size of five uh, and then we try to score this this model so yeah overall the trading if you see uh, we have uh, a, a nearly good accuracy and so we, we, we are nearly efficient here so and, and then I save this model uh, and post saving it I kind of just just load that model and and try and predict so if you see here again I have a, a, another file here which is for the predict uh, clause so it's just trying to test the the model so we have just just this one input which has the two attributes available and we are trying to predict what product was purchased so so yeah I mean out of it we're just trying to uh, you know hit the hit that and, and then converts with with the uh, lambda function and when the, and then we predict so the predicted product which will be purchased is product a that's all from the modeling piece so yeah I mean I would not delve deep here because that's not the entire in, uh, you know intent for this this video uh, I I am more interested on the other part of it or the after work after you have you've built your model so so yeah we, our model is ready the important call out is we have used Keras on top of TensorFlow, hence our model is saved in a .h5, uh, .h5 uh, file and uh, we cannot pickleize it. So, so we, it's not a PKL file or pickle file but .h5 file in, and for all the, all the uh, examples that you've seen for Azure model management you will find they have used pickle as an example. So that's where the difference lies if I were to use Keras and a deep neural net uh, solution or a model how do you do I operationalize it so that's where we, where we will be looking uh, what we will be looking at in the next video so uh, yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned the next one is really important thank you